Hello, I'm Jennifer. This video is going to be about making a beautiful wedding backdrop, so stay tuned. Let's start with making the floral wreaths. I used wood hoops. I had one large one and then I went down a size and I got two of those. Here are some of the flowers I chose. Very soft pink. Look at this one. I found one with pearls inside and some of the petals were tulle. Here we have some lamb's ear, some eucalyptus that I'll kind of add some draping off of the hoops. And then what I really love was this pearl and gold stems. This will add some elegance and bling to the design. So you want to take the hoops apart and just use the inside of the hoop. Now I'm ready to add the eucalyptus. That's the first thing I'm going to do. And this one came in a bundle, so I'm going to snip just a few of them off and begin adding them to the hoop. When I attach the first eucalyptus, I'm going to attach it with a white floral wire. For the top of the eucalyptus, I'm going to use fishing wire to attach it to the hoop. And that way it won't show. At the bottom where I used wire, that won't show there because we're going to add some of the larger flowers. Now we're gonna add a smaller piece of the eucalyptus. Look how it's kind of draping off of the hoop. This adds a very whimsical and romantic look. I'm gonna do two on each side. And now I'm ready to add the lamb's ear. Everything I do on the right side, I'm gonna mimic on the left side. Now I'm going to add the flowers. I'm going to put roses on the outside of one large peonies. So start by clipping each flower pretty close to the base. Then you're going to add a ton of hot glue and glue it right on to the wood hoop. Now I'm ready to add some of the white ranunculus. Again, I'm going to snip them pretty close and attach them to the wreath with glue. So I took a look at the lambs here and I thought it looked a little too clumped in there. So I'm going to take a few of the leaves off, separate some of them, and glue them onto the wreath around the flowers. Now I'm ready to add some of the pearl and gold stem. I'm going to snip off smaller pieces. The key to having a very elegant and airy wreath is to never be afraid to kind of snip some of the stems and make them smaller pieces rather than clumping them onto the wreath or the hoop. The last thing I want to do is add a little bit of greenery around the flowers and nestle it in. And look here, I'm, I'm shaping a leaf into a smaller leaf. Don't be afraid to cut some of the stem leaves as well.
Now it's time to focus on the outside hoops. In this diagram, I wanted to show you how I put the flowers on the outer edges of the smaller hoops. You're pretty much going to do the same thing you did with the larger hoop, just not using quite as many stems and flowers. It's going to be super easy and it'll go super fast. I purchased this 10 foot adjustable backdrop stand off of Amazon. I'll put a link below. I'm going to show you how super easy it was to put together. Now you see me adding these bags at the bottom. They said you could put sand in them, but I actually put in cans of vegetables. Worked perfect. You just want to make sure you have weight to hold the stands down and to keep them from tipping over. See how super easy that was to put together and this is really easy to transport as well. Now I'm ready to add my fabric. I decided instead of tulle, I really love chiffon. Chiffon just flows so romantically and to me it was the best choice. Next I'm going to add the fairy lights to the backdrop. So I have the shears put on and I actually used four panels of the shears because I wanted it to be really, really full. Now let me give you a really good tip about the lights because I made a huge mistake. So you already saw how they came packaged. There's the main strand and then you have the lights that come down straight. This is what they look like. They come down straight. Put the straight strand of lights up before you start uncoiling these, else you'll get this huge knot and you'll be sitting on the floor for about 45 minutes until you get it undone. I'm ready to hang my three uh, hoop wreaths. You can use fishing wire, but something I found in the uh, wedding aisle at the craft store were these pearl wires, and that's exactly how I'm gonna hook them on. Now to close the gap up, you want to go around the back and I just have some simple uh, sewing pins with a little pearl top on it and I'm going to fold that fabric around the lights and just kind of slide the pin down straight and that'll keep it in place. So you could, again, you could hang your hoops, depending on where your wedding venue is, you could hang them from the ceiling with fishing wire, which would be just as beautiful. But I went ahead and just added them to the lights that are on the pole. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to have more videos coming out later, and I hope you have a good day.